This is Holly. She's been with us a few weeks now. She was found completely on her own in the Welsh Hills. A concerned member of public called our welfare line and one of our field officers went out to find her. Our field officer found her completely on her own. There were other horses on that land, but it was apparent that none of them were her family. They thought she was about six to seven weeks old. So she was very underweight, very quiet um, and really quite unwell. When our field officer came out to check on Holly, he made extensive efforts to try and find her owners and anybody that was looking after the horses on that land. But um, unfortunately, no owner came forward. Um, so the field officer made the decision to bring her to a holding yard so that she could get the care she needed um, because it was clear that she wouldn't have survived much longer out there on her own. Because Holly was so unwell, she had to stay at the holding yard for a good few days until she was well enough that she could travel to Glenderspooner Farm. And that's when we first saw her. So when Holly first arrived and I first saw her, she was very weak, very quiet. Um, she was lying down a lot of the time um, and she quite often needed help to get back to her feet. She had rain scold all across her face, all on her ears, the fronts of her legs and across her back. Because Holly was quite immunosuppressed, she didn't have the ability to fight off an infection that was caused by the dirt and the rain that had got right down into her skin. So it had um, got quite sore and bad along her back and her ears. So it's quite tricky to tell quite how thin foals like this are from a distance because if I just take her rug off gently she's quite fluffy so it's hard to see how thin she is without touching her and feeling her and you can see I can feel her ribs really easily and her hips and if I run my hand along her back you can see that her spine sticks out and you can see that her rain scold is still making her quite itchy. As soon as she has her rug off, she likes to have a good itch. So Holly's rain scold was really quite bad across her back, but because she was so unwell and immunosuppressed, we didn't want to clip her too quickly because she'd get cold and potentially get un more unwell. So now she's feeling a bit brighter. We'll be clipping Holly soon so that we can treat her rain scold much more effectively. So at Glenderspooner Farm, we've had three abandoned foals this year, all found in slightly different situations, but all needing emergency care. Um, they get the care from us every two hours they're having to be fed and we have extra veterinary support to make sure that they're getting everything that they need. So in the few weeks that Holly's been with us, she's getting much brighter. She's growing very quickly. Um, and it's apparent that she's turning a corner and we're really hopeful for her recovery. This year alone, we have cared for 30 foals. It's wonderful seeing new life come into the world and particularly to know that as part of the World Horse Welfare family, these foals have a secure future ahead of them and the promise of a loving home with one of our extraordinary rehomers. Three of those foals who are on the journey towards rehoming were abandoned, so were hand-reared day and night by our incredibly dedicated grooms here at our Glenda Spooner Rescue and Rehoming Centre. Ilaria, or Bunny, she was known affectionately by the team, Ellis, and our newest arrival, Holly. All foals and youngsters take a great deal of specialist care but the pressure on our resources increases exponentially when a foal doesn't have a mother to rear them. And Holly is a powerful, striking example of this. She is still very vulnerable, but our grooms and veterinary team are leaving nothing to chance to give her a bright future, as we did with Ilaria and Ellis. Ilaria was just days old when she was carried into our centre by field officer Tony Evans. It has been a long road, but just look at her now, a thriving youngster who has been given a very special gift, a lifetime of security as part of our family. We all know how important security is. We're giving this gift to horses around the world 
by educating their owners and future generations who will continue to rely on horses for their livelihoods, by being the voice for horses, often overlooked by decision makers, and by ensuring hands-on care for horses all over the UK. Horses, just like Holly. Any gift you can donate this Christmas really will make a difference to Holly and her friends. We remain profoundly grateful for every gift that we receive. We owe horses a debt greater than they would ever claim for. Their loyalty, their sacrifice, their work ethic, and above all, their companionship. So this Christmas, we will be there for horses who need us most. And we send you all our heartfelt thanks to you for enabling us to do just this. And may I take this opportunity to wish you, your loved ones, and of course your horses, a safe and happy Christmas.